Hello, sister from another Mr. Country Girl 555, Tina. I just finished watching uh, your um, kind of humorous video, the uh, Girls Gone Wild LMBO laughing my butt off video. Um, first off, want to say, before I even get to that part of it, because I did crack up when I seen that, is uh, about me being 259 pounds. You saw that scale on my last weigh-in uh, last Sunday evening that I had done. Um, that uh, the scale finally went down to 259 pounds. And yes, it was a blessed feeling, uh, a miracle. Because the night before when I went to sleep, I was something like 260-something pounds. And I was like, I'm never going to get there. I was so bummed going to sleep that night. And... Well, that day because you know me I work and I thought oh god it ain't gonna happen for me and I'm here comes you know the first and I wanted I had the first goal that I ever set for myself and well I don't know how I made it but it didn't last for long I gotta tell you and I've been struggling in uh, the 260s again bouncing up and down up and down I even got back up to 266 point something on one day I'm like hoping you know I don't want the scale to be broken because it'd be a pain in the butt to return it since it came as a purchase from my brother uh, for Christmas for me from amazon.com uh, but you know that something in our heads that say it ain't us it ain't us there's something going on battery issue or something with the stupid scale so yeah, but again, back to the Girls Gone Wild thing, you reminded me of Maxine Hedrum. <laughs> Remember Max Hedrum, the uh, 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 it kind of cracked me up, girl, when I started seeing that and you were playing with it. I just, I just love you to bits. You're just, you, you're, you're encouraging, you're inspiring, but you're damn freaking funny and sometimes I need a laugh and I watch one of your videos and just when I need that laugh, you're there uh, making me smile from ear to ear to the point, girl, my cheeks have been hurting and I don't mean to use that F word I think I'm gonna edit that out yeah I might just do that I don't even know why I did it but that's how happy you make me I don't even think about how I'm talking okay uh, about your 35 day 35 minute weight uh, car cardio challenge I gotta tell you I've been trying to move right along with you I saw the first one of your video the one that was 39 minutes the first day that you were doing it and um, well, I was trying to move along with you, but I only did about 10 minutes of that and uh, before I had to stop and sit my butt down. I don't know how you do it, girlfriend, but uh, wasn't something I was capable of doing right along with you, at least not for any longer than 10 minutes, but I did try. I did try. Uh, now, getting your H2O down, okay? I know you've probably seen the video I have where I was trying to get my H2O down. I have this water bottle here. I don't know if you can see how much water's in here. This is my first 32 ounces since midnight, and I've already got that almost down. I might just end up drinking more than my uh, 65 or whatever ounces that I've been drinking, because this thing fills 33.9 uh, ounces. Two of those 16 by 9 uh, bottles of water I put in there at a time, and I'm able to get my water down. And surprisingly enough, I don't drink it cold either. I don't even put the water in the refrigerator. I take it right out of the 24 pack. And I put it in there, and I leave it, and I drink it, and I keep it by my bed. And, man, if that thing don't get me to go into the bathroom along with the water pill that I take. And um, I'm hoping that helps me when it comes time to get on the scale later on today. Uh, about the smoothie and the protein uh, powder that you don't have with you, um, I don't know if you like any of my smoothie videos uh, where you can use juice and or uh, almond milk or fat free milk and I don't use protein powder I know you drink the smoothie to get your protein down but if you're looking for a little bit of carbs and a nice quick pick-me-up that's healthy for you uh, you can still have you a smoothie don't have to be that bad um, a little something on that milk uh, later <laughs> Uh, the um, Nutrisport 90 Plus Protein Powder that you say you get from the UK. Um, I'm not sure if there's something here in the US that's equivalent to that, but I did do a search which went pretty deep and uh, I only did find it in the UK, unfortunately. Uh, one place did have worldwide shipping, it was $20 uh, Euro um, plus cost, however, but I don't know. Um, so, what else did I want to tell you? Um, 
There was something else I wanted to tell you. I got my little notes here a little bit backwards here. Uh, oh, I've had a couple of binges, um, but I realized I could, you know, where, where I could not stop myself, basically, okay? They weren't like all-out binges where I went for the whole day and I ate massive amounts of food and I didn't go on like five different restaurants grabbing this, this, and that and just saying the heck with it. And I didn't hide like I sometimes have noticed uh, now. I noticed what I did in the past. In the past, I didn't notice what I was doing, but I used to kind of hide and eat. And I'm trying my hardest not to do that because hubby knows I'm on this and he's really proud of me. And my mom knows I'm on this and I'm trying to encourage the both of them. And I dare don't want to go off what I'm trying to do because it just, it wouldn't be fair. And I don't want to give them the wrong idea that this doesn't work because it's working. It is working. It really is. Um, mornings are hell for me. Uh, my snacks, my nuts, my honey roasted nuts. They're like assorted nuts that I got. I bought for myself a big tin for Christmas and I finally portioned them out. I had a portion control day, another video. Um, and I like pretzel nuggets. Oh, I like pretzel nuggets. Um, 110 calories for either 10 or 11 depending on the brand or no, excuse me, 11 or 12 depending on the brand. Uh, they are and, um, they're really high in carbs because it is kind of like a bread product, but uh, yeah, they they got a little salt on them, and that might be a reason why my weight's been fluctuating and kind of getting up there. It could be water, uh, but yeah, my little food demons, I have to tell you, these tiny little suckers have eyes, lips, or gold on them or something, but um, you know, just come morning, I think just before I go to bed, is when I feel like I gotta have them. Not before, not when I could be moving around and working them out. Uh, but anyways, uh, as far as Yehuda goes, um, I, I'm not sure if I even set my sympathies to you or not, or even the whole weight loss community as a whole who feel um, the sorrow from his loss. I never got a chance to know him, uh, but I somehow felt at first unlucky not to know, have known him, and then now for some reason I feel kind of lucky because I don't know how I would deal uh, with grieving over his loss and especially since so many people have have uh, displayed their own grief over his loss and so many people have seemed to love this young man or have had some deep connection with this young man and that's something that uh, you just can't replace and you, you can have other friends who are there for you, some they, that may compare, but none that can take their place nonetheless. So there's that. Uh, your mom sounds like she has an inner ear infection with her cold because if she's off balance, usually it has something to do with the e inner ear. I hope that uh, she feels better and, and gets there quick. Uh, got to love your moms, you know, all the gifts that she gives you. Whether she can afford them or not, no money, but lots of love. So it's always good to have a mom that loves you like that. Uh, regarding your wagon, <laughs> now I completely understand what you mean. You're not off track, uh, that the wheels are not broke, that you just traveled off in the right path, uh, made a detour, and you need to get your GPS working so you can find a way uh, back to where you need to be. <laughs> So, uh, you know, can, that's what I had to say about that. You know, I made these little notes to, to myself because I didn't want this video to run into something long. Nah, I love you and your long videos. You're always a joy to hear. And because I'm working, I get to pause them in between and hear them or walk around and do something. So they're great. They've been great for me. Um, I've had, uh, what else I want to tell you here? I seem to have gone backwards in my notes. I'm not good at taking notes. Terrible at taking notes. Ah. But, uh, yeah. Okay, now, uh, I can't wait to wear knee socks or boots. Either or. I might be able to wear some booties like you had on when you were doing your 35-minute uh, challenge there, the first one I saw. You know, those things are cute. Uh, but this is Miami, Florida. I think they'd look at me kind of funky if they saw me wearing some boots with some fur lined on the top of them like that. Uh, you will breathe again in them size 22 jeans. Uh, button flies. I wish I knew they had size 22 that I could wear some me some button flies. 
Anyways, once again, uh, good on the food trickery hiding that moulignon. It's an Italian word for eggplant. Don't anybody else get any ideas now? I ain't racist or nothing, okay? Now you'll think I am for even bringing that up. Uh, but what was it you called it? An ar I, arbor I ain't even going to try to repeat it. Okay, um, I could repeat it right when you said it, though, but I done forgot what it is. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool of you to do that so that Kelly didn't know what it was because I have the same problem with my hubby trying to get him to uh, eat vegetables and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, and I about fell out of my chair when you were talking about the rancid milk that you got from the Shell station. Um, that happens to me here all the time. So, so not as much now that I started drinking the uh, Silk Original Almond Milk. Because that stuff seems to have a very long shelf life. Just like organic milk has a real long shelf life, I've noticed. Um, and for me, because I don't drink the milk that often. And I was getting the fat-free skim milk. And that stuff's just gone bad. I opened it the other day and decided to have the almond milk. Because it's only 60 calories instead of 120 uh, per serving. Or even 90. So I'm saving. Like if I put two cups of that into a smoothie, I'm saving a good 60 calories right off the bat anyways. So, um, yeah. But um, I'm not in the country, but damn sure wouldn't know it because I had someone once tell me uh, to use the sour milk as buttermilk. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Told me to use the sour milk as buttermilk. Anyways, I want to thank you again for the props on my weight loss. My low of 259. Uh, not sure just yet, uh, but we'll know more later with my weigh-in going into my 14th week today is my what I call my 14th week weigh in uh, but you might not need to work all that hard to catch up with me girlfriend uh, you might not even have to work that hard to surpass me for all I know uh, but I have seen your weight just fall off of you so I know you can do it I, I know you can you, you, you are inspiring you are definitely inspiring to me Ever since day one when I started watching you, I don't know why I hadn't found you before because I know you're a friend of Gastric Rose and you're a uh, follower around a few people in the weight loss community. And I have, long before I even been on my journey, followed quite a few people around uh, for one reason or another. And of course, my mom has had gastric bypass, the ruin why. So, yeah, uh, so when I put the 259 into the Spark People uh, thing and I changed my weight. Uh, it did lower my minimum to maximum calories, carbs, fats, etc. And I don't fear this, really, I don't, because I usually am good at keeping under or not that far into the lowest number, the minimum number that they give. So I also can't feel like I'm on any kind of a diet. I don't even want to say the D word because if I even think I'm on a diet, I think I'm going to fail. It should be the F word and not the D word because it's just failure for me. I just don't think it'll work. And, um, what else did I want to say to you? Like I said, I'm bad. I keep these little notes here, so, yeah. Sorry not looking in the camera, but I am looking right at you, girl. I wish I could see you face to face, give you a big old hug. Uh, but as for the Sacred Heart Diet, uh, I suck at keeping up, uh, with anything other than eating that delicious soup. And I started making a soup tonight, although I got ground beef in it, but I pretty much kind of did the same stuff with all the veggies and everything. And uh, I put some of the tomato juice in, just not as much. I put a can of the diced tomatoes. I put green beans in it, too. Um, but I put a low sodium, that same thing that you use, that container of the beef broth. I have an MSG one, but it's not low sodium. So. But it's okay. It's okay, because there's going to be enough soup in there. It ain't going to be a whole lot of sodium that I'm going to be intaking, unless it all wants to jump into my bowl. And I doubt that's going to happen. And my family liked to eat the Sacred Heart soup, my mom and my husband. So there wouldn't have been enough soup in there to even finish out the rest of my days that I would have had since I started it last uh, Tuesday, almost Wednesday. I made it on Tuesday. But late in the evening, you know me, I had to have some right then and there. Uh, but anyways, um, I do love veggies, but uh, I... You know, I used to eat a lot of them, but now that I had to because the diet told you to eat them, I just couldn't eat as many uh, that I'd usually be eating. I don't know. It just, just the way it had been, you know, you, you always, I don't know, you always get a thumbs up from me, though, on your videos and or, or a favorite. Today, I gave you a thumbs up and a favorite. <laughs> 
you're the best. You really are. And anybody who ain't found your channel, if you're watching my channel right now, that's Country Girl 555 Tina. She is a doll, a true inspiration to anybody trying to lose some weight out there. Um, I look at what you do as being done naturally, girl. I don't see anything unnatural. I mean, you might do Weight Watchers, but I've only seen you count the points of stuff you've eaten out of the can or wherever you've had it. I haven't seen you eating any kind of packaged foods. You cook? I've seen you cook. So, yeah, but um, I'm here for you. I did want to let you know that, that I am here for you. I'm not far from my email on any given day, except for maybe on my, my days off. I do try to stay away from the computer. Otherwise, I don't feel like I had a day off since I work in front of the dang thing. Uh, but, yeah, just want to give you lots of hugs and kisses from afar, as virtual as we are. You know, that's all we got, but we got to do the best with what we have. And, um, yeah, I love you, girl. Your friend, Drea. Well, I hope to be Drea one day. It's Andrea, but if you've ever read the credits on the back of my videos, it says that I hope to lose half of me, lose the Anne, and then become Drea upon losing half of me. I don't know if anybody ever noticed that, but I'll put it out there. Anyways, girl, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. I know you gained 11 inches in that belly of yours, and I know you found how you're probably feeling about that. Probably the same way I feel about gut getting down to 259 and then getting back up into the 260s. And now I feel like I ain't never going to get back there, but at least you got hope. Like you said, you got God, you got hope, and, and I got you, so I got hope. I got hope. I got to... I gotta be positive and strong right along with you. I'm usually a, a a pessimistic person, or no, excuse me, scratch that. I'm usually an optimistic person, and I do think positive, and I believe that positivity breeds positive things, and positive things will come to you if you think positively. So keep thinking positively. I know you can do this. You can do this. We can do this. We all can do this. Love you, girl.